Say hello to BMW's iX. Now this is their first all new electric platform since their game-changing i3 and it's a sort of spiritual successor to the X5 and competes with things like the Jaguar I-Pace, the Audi e-tron, the Mercedes EQS and the Tesla Model Y. There's lots of really clever stuff here, the frameless windows, the use of carbon fiber and a really plush, sophisticated interior with lots of lovely surfaces and materials and lots of storage space. There's a lot happening on the three screens in front of you and sometimes you feel like you're looking at a desktop computer circa 2001. Like all EVs, the interface will take getting used to and trying to dive into all the myriad different menus while you're driving definitely isn't recommended. The boot is not what you would call huge and there should be a seven-seater option, but there isn't. But here's a fun fact. The bonnet, clamshell, you just can't open it. There's no consumer access for this. You have to take it to a dealership. And of course, that means there's no front storage space. The controversial grill is self-healing plastic. So if it gets hit by a stone, it heals itself, who knew? And the only maintenance job on electric car you ever need to do, which is of course, wash a fluid, you press the BMW roundel, clever. But you'll note I haven't spoken about the styling. This is a hugely, hugely Marmite car. You either like it or you don't. And just let me end on the point that the BMW iX4 and indeed 5, they're not going to win any beauty pageants anytime soon. So there are two variants, there's the iX40 and the iX50, I'm driving the 40 today. The official WLTP battery range is 257 miles, 60 will take 6.1 seconds in the, in the 40 and your top speed is 124 miles an hour. It costs 70 grand for the 40 and if you want the 50, which has more range, bigger battery, air suspension is a bit quicker, you'd have to shell out an extra 20 grand. So that puts these at almost Range Rover price points. And it makes me say that the Model Y, the Tesla Model Y, which has just been announced today as the world's best-selling electric car, at 50 grand, that seems almost, well, reasonable. It does drive very, very well indeed. It's poised, it's brisk, it's smooth. Some people have said the ride quality isn't very good. I think it's fine, and if you want better, you'd have to shell out a bit more for the i50 with its air suspension. Steering's beautifully weighted, and even this weird-looking steering wheel is actually a delight to use. It's quick, but it's not as quick as those Teslas, which come in at under four seconds sometimes. The problem for me is the range. Now, I've been driving in, in mild weather and I'm struggling to get much more than 200 miles to one charge. So if it gets deep and crisp and even and the temperature drops, we know all batteries are less efficient at lower temperatures. So in real world driving, you might only be getting, what, 170, 180 to one charge. And look, call me old fashioned, but if you laid out 80 large for an electric SUV, you might be scratching your head a bit at 170 to one charge. Don't get me wrong, in many ways this is a very clever, sophisticated and technically audacious effort. But it was probably planned, what, five, six years ago when the world's done lots and lots of revolutions since then. And it's out of kilter with this global demand for small and affordable. Less definitely is more these days. So if you want a big, hefty, pillowy, comfortable, technically audacious, clever electric SUV, I mean, this car has a carbon fiber core, it's so advanced, then look no further than the iX4 or 5. 
but don't think you'll be doing a great service to the environment because you won't. Sure, your exhaust emissions will be less over the lifetime of the car, that's great for urban air quality. And if you charge for a completely renewable electricity grid, then your carbon emissions will be much lower. But for an electric SUV, to be a whole half ton heavier than the combustion SUV it's meant to replace, I'm not sure that's what we could call progress.